one thing unique about this building that we're in uh, is there's like a face face sculpture around the building. The face sculpture are not pretty. It's, it's something that's not beautiful, but I think it has that uh, little charm and quirk. Is what we are, and that's what I loved about Ugly Mug in the first place. I never saw myself uh, doing a coffee, owning a coffee shop, or doing coffee. I didn't like coffee at all at that time, uh, but somehow I stumbled upon this place, um, and I don't know. I just fell in love. I used to be a part-time barista at this place. My before uh, then uh, girlfriend, and now it's she's my wife. Uh, she used to work here, and she, you know, introduced me to this place, and I started working here as barista. And and the owner uh, and I got really close. So we, uh, we we became really close. We became friends, and we used to talk a lot about you know, the business and how we could do certain things to improve and whatnot. I got married really in in young age. So I needed something, some kind of, I guess, uh, income to support my family. So uh, that's when my uh, uh, the previous owner was like, "Hey, you know, I want, I'm thinking about selling this business to you." I was like, "Sure, I want to do this." Uh, but uh, after I started this business, um, you, I don't know, naturally you kind of. Get interested in what other coffee shops are doing. So I started going to uh, coffee shops in Seattle, whether or not small or big. You know, trying to see what they're doing. That period uh, kind of, you know, picked my interest in coffee. So that's when I seriously like thought about like maybe I could do this more. Uh, so that's when I started, you know. Studying about coffee, researching, um, and trying you know, new stuff, and that's when I fell in love with the coffee. Uh, owning a coffee shop is a really tough uh, job unless you really love coffee. You're not gonna make tons of money. Your hours are gonna be terrible. You're standing all the time. Um, you have all these crazy people ordering crazy stuff. A lot of people come in and they say like, ah, I wish I owned a coffee shop. No, I want to you know, sit, sit around, chill, and read books. And like, you don't know what you're talking about. It's like, if you don't love coffee, it's really a tough job. Um, so I would say uh, it's not for everyone. Uh, and if you do love coffee, uh, you need to do a really good job of it for people to recognize that.